Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, let me share with you some Finder window tricks. So here we have the Finder window. Now, the middle area is called the Content area, and you can set it to show Icon view, List view, Column view, or Cover flow view, which is really just List view with a cool iPod-like Cover flow at the top. The rest of the parts of the window are the sidebar over here on the left, the toolbar at the top, and also the status bar here at the bottom. There's also a lesser known area called the path bar. Now this is on by default. If you go to view, show path bar, you get it at the bottom and it shows you the complete path to the current file that's selected. It's also active. So for instance, if I wanted to go and drag a file to another folder, you see that I can. Now there are preferences for each type of view for the content area. To see the preferences, go to View, Show View Options, and you get this little panel here that'll stay on top of the Finder window. Now, when I've selected Icon View, for instance, I get a whole different set of options here. I can change the size of the icons, the grid spacing, I can change where the label is, put it on the right instead of at the bottom. Um, I can even select to show some info. So info like the number of files in a particular folder. I can also change the background to a specific color or a specific image. Now if I switch to the list view, I get a whole different set of options. I can increase the icon size to a larger size. I can also determine what is shown here. Uh, name, date modified, size, and kind are right now, but I can actually go and add date created or say remove size. And I can add also version, comments, and labels. I can also basically click on Calculate All Sizes, which is at the bottom here, which will calculate all the sizes of all the folders. So now I have folder sizes as well as file sizes. This can be dangerous though if you have a lot of files, uh, a lot of folders in a, uh, another folder and you click select Calculate All Sizes, you're going to get uh, a bit of a lag as it tries to calculate the size of some massive folders. So that's why that's off by default. In column view, you get less, but one of the interesting things most people don't know about is you do have some sorting options. So usually things are arranged by name, but I can change the arrangement to say arranged by size. So I can actually sort by size or day created, modified, kind, and label inside of column view. Now column view is definitely my favorite view. It allows you to quickly navigate, uh, even using the keyboard, between different things. So you can go down, move to the right, get a preview of any sort of file that you can preview like a video file or image file and you can navigate using the keyboard like that. It's also the predominant view when you're actually doing a save or open inside an application. You get basically a finder column view. So you get kind of used to using it. So it's my favorite. Um, the cover flow view has the same options as list view since it really is pretty much the same thing. If you want to adjust the size of cover flow there's actually this little pull area here that you can pull up or down to have larger or smaller icons. Now you can customize the sidebar by dragging items to it. For instance, if you want to have a certain folder like this archive folder here in the sidebar, I can drag it in and drop it there. And that way I could basically have quick access to it. Now you can further modify the sidebar by going to Finder Preferences and selecting the sidebar pane. And this gives you a long list of things that are included automatically in the sidebar. So if you don't want to see your iDisk or external disks or inserted CDs or just about anything in the sidebar automatically appear, you can uncheck it and it will go away. Also it will control what's in the search for area here. You can do anything you want really to change the contents of the sidebar. Now you can customize the toolbar by going to View, Customize Toolbar, and it brings up this entire menu here of things you can drag and drop onto the toolbar. So for instance, the very useful Path button is not included by default. You can just drag it to the top. And if you find that you don't really need to use the Quick View button, you can drag that off. Uh, so you can rearrange things or you can set things back to the default views. Now when you're done, you have your new settings and you can use the new items that are there. Another cool thing you can do with the toolbar is you can add any application to it. So let's go to the Applications folder and say I want to go ahead and add text edit there. I drag it to the top and usually I find you have to wait about a second for it to appear. Probably verifies it's an application. And then you can 
drag it there. Now I've got this icon here that's a shortcut to text edit. Not only could I click on it to launch text edit, but I can actually drag and drop files to it. So for instance, I could drag this here and it opens it up in text edit. So it's very handy if you use one application a lot. Now handy tips like these finder tricks are going to be exactly the kind of things I'm going to put in the new MacMost email newsletter. That's going to start at the end of this week. To sign up for it, go to macmost.com slash newsletter. So the idea is that every week I'll send out an email to everybody that subscribes. I'm going to put some Macintosh tips in there, maybe some iPhone tips. I'm going to list the videos that I did during the week and point to other things like blog posts, maybe even ask for some feedback. So sign up for the newsletter now. Thanks a lot. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.